There are a number of ways to place moldings and toe kicks in 2020 design. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do both of them at the same time. The floor plan that I'm working on is mostly complete with the exception of my toe kicks and moldings. And if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that we do not have any moldings nor any toe kicks. To the left hand side, we have an option called countertops and trim. It's a little icon over there. I always tell people it looks like a magic wand with a piece of molding to the left of it. If I left click on that, we will open up a new menu and you'll see that there are three columns. The columns are divided up as such. The left hand column is, are your materials. And by each, you have an indicator box where you can check and say, I'd like to auto design that feature. And in this case, you see mine is already set to auto design top moldings and toe kicks. But we could put a check mark next to bottom moldings and soffits and so on. To the right of it, it actually asks, what catalog do you want to work with? Now, some of you may design kitchens in one manufacturer and use moldings from a different manufacturer. You can certainly work with multiple catalogs at the same time. The kitchen I'm working with, I'm going to choose the Sample F catalog, but if I wanted to change to a different brand specific catalog, I would click on my arrow and I would find the catalog that I wanted to work with. The final column to the right of that is called Model. That's actually where we pick the item that we'd like to place. So I have top moldings, I have the sample catalog, and in this case, I will click the arrow and I'll choose the molding that I'd like to place, and I'm gonna choose crown. If you're using a brand specific catalog and they have seven different types of crown, they have a one and three quarter, a two and a quarter, a three and a quarter with an insert area, a cove, a shaker crown, and so on, all of those would be listed there and you can make your selection from that list. We also have the same ability for toe kicks, and I mentioned moldings and soffits. If I click the Add button after selecting what I'd like to place, what catalog I want to select it from, and the exact model, you'll see that it auto-designs the entire kitchen at one time. Throughout the kitchen, we have placed moldings, and I'll zoom back out so that you can see that we have moldings on this wall, toe kicks, this wall, and all the way around our L shape. To take a quick look at this, we're going to work with texture with edges. I like to use the texture with edges feature when, I, when I'm showing molding because not only does it give you the great rendering graphic that you see on the wood graining, I mean, isn't this cherry graining fantastic here on these doors? Um, but if you look at the molding, look at the thin black lines that indicate all the detailing on the molding. Gives you a great view. I'd like to add one more item before we leave here. For those of you working with laminate countertops, you also have the ability to use the same exact feature if we go back to countertops and trim. We could have indicated countertops and had it automatically auto-design laminate countertops along with your tops and moldings.